hello people good afternoon good evening whenever you're watching this thank you so much for watching this this is Andy coming to you live from Andy at sugar.com and today I just want to ask you a quick question right would you like to learn a five step basic attraction marketing formula you can actually use online today on any medium either online or offline to attract more people to yourself and to build an audience there are things that you can go and use so feel free to stick with me and in the next five to six minutes i'll be sharing that with you so let's get started first things first attraction marketing formula number one actionable step number one is that confidence breeds is attractive now what does this mean this means that the more confident you are the more people are drawn towards you and the more they want to know exactly what you do right now to do that i'm sure you've heard of this step before it's as simple as being a product of the product and making the product work for you right so if you're in a health and wellness industry these are one of the best places to actually use attraction marketing and so you want to get those products go use them and start great gaining confidence in the product people would see when you talk about the product there'll be so much passion i remember in my uh, you know uh, previous company i wasn't so confident until i started using the product it helped so much people could see that when i talked about the product i knew what i was saying so you have to go out there and use the product buy the product use it enjoy it it will build confidence and confidence attracts people to you which is actionable step number one very basic but very effective actionable step number two in attraction marketing formula is to be a connector being a connector is something you just can't do without if you're in, in this industry you just have to keep connecting with people right now it's not just about you connecting with people it's also about taking it one step further and connecting people to people so if you know that someone is good at doing something, you just want to connect people and make them benefit each other. This way, people the people like you because it's all about gaining trust and gaining you know uh, people liking you and attracting more people to yourself, right? So if you can just go and go go a step further by just allowing other people to connect with each other right find people that you think much in terms of what they're doing and what they're looking for and connect them together so they can benefit from their skill set and what happens is that their friends get to know you they will recommend you to anyone any day it's as simple as that now actionable step number three is to be knowledgeable now you have to know what the industry is all about you have to know the industry that you play in you have to know what the industry is about you have to know what's happening and the most important thing is you have to know a little bit about your competition so health and wellness is one of the most competitive you know industries in the home business space so you want to make sure that you understand what other companies are doing you don't have to necessarily stay online all the time just trying to get exactly what they're up to but you just need to know what they're up to i mean generically and in a summary for example if you run a shop and there's a, a competitive shop next to you wouldn't you like to know like if they have any offers or anything that is useful you might want to know that so you want to go out there and understand what the industry is you want to understand what your competition is doing so that's step number three step number four is to be a curator right now to be a curator a very simple example is if you go to a museum and you've seen all those beautiful things they used to decorate the museum there's somebody actually whose job main job is to go out find stuff that goes into the museum that makes people um like the museum or like what they see now that they are it's sort of like if you work in retail they call them uh, is it buyers or merchandisers i'm not very sure what they're called but the whole idea is that you want to put things in front of people that are beneficial to them because when you do the first two steps especially if you're on social media you start attracting some people to yourself right and the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're sharing other people's content that's what it means so if I know this person's content is going to help my audience I would gladly send it to my audience so they can benefit from that now there's two ways this benefit one way is that when you share content or you share 
a post or something from somebody else their friends see that you've shared something from their friend they come check you out the second way is that when you share stuff on the other side your audience see oh wow he is sharing things from other people right and this guy is no selfish guy it's, it's, it's just a genuine guy this will help me i like to check it out when you share anything next time they would go have a look at it they know you're not selfish they know if they put something up you will share so they'll check out anything that you put up which is a great way of attracting people to yourself all right step number five is you have to create an environment now creating an environment is is very very simple these days it's not so complicated and what we mean by environment is that you want to find um uh, create something that the people that follow you would be able to come out and hang out with you right they can come and check out what you're doing they can they can hang out with each, with each other we have so many tools online you can use today now the most popular one right now is facebook live you can get a facebook live your audience will come together they would they will come and hang out with you check out what you have to say uh, see what you're up to so facebook live is one of the great ways to create an environment for people to come we've got google hangouts we've got webinars right and one of the best ways to do this is by using an email autoresponder so if you have a newsletter or you have an autoresponder you might want to use it because people would then be able to enjoy your content and be able to get more from you as much as you share so it's all about sharing with other people it's all about getting those eyeballs on you by doing these five basic things now if you're on social media this is one of the best places to use these five steps but it still works anywhere anyway so I'm glad you found value in this I've started using these and it's working like a treat so it's one of the great ways that you can start becoming insanely attractive to people so please feel free to subscribe to my channel so that anytime we come out with great content you'll be in the know and also you can check out my blog and the for more information tips and tricks on how to build your business online thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video God bless you bye